Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope you're having an amazing day. Now today guys, I'm very excited because I have um, a juicy seed pod ready for the harvesting. And um, this is a Brasilio Apuncha Brasilieris, I don't want a name, um, seed pod. And this is actually a leaf, a, sort of a leaf I should say, a pad that actually fell off the Brasilio um, Apuncha a few months ago. And the seed at the time was actually very green, the seed pod, it wasn't ready for harvesting. And I thought, oh, I don't want to lose the seed because there is actually just one seed in this um, fruit. And I just kept it and to see if it would carry on ripening and it did and it's been a number of months and it's gone from green green and now it's a deep red colour and now it's very soft and squidgy so I know that it's ready for the harvesting and um, I have harvested one of these before from the same plant and successfully propagated it but sadly during the, the house move last year it got damaged and it didn't repair itself and it just rotted back which was so sad so luckily we're going to have another go this time and we're going to be putting this, so obviously sowing it this time of year and putting it into the grow room under the lights. And it'd be interesting to see if there's just one big seed in this like last time. And um, if you have one of these plants, these Brasilio Apunchas, um, they are very sort of, sort of common in cultivation, but not as common as the normal type of Apuncha cacti that you do see. And the seed pods are very different as well. With these ones, they just have the one seed inside. With the other Apunchas, they usually have, um, with a fruit pod like this, a number of seeds. The seeds are always quite large with Apunchas compared to other type of um, cactus seeds. But as I say, the Brasilio Apuncha is a species on its sort of own, different to the traditional type of Apuncha you see. So anyway, enough of my waffle, and I'm going to get harvested now. And um, the thing you do have to watch out for with these uh, Brasilio puncher pads is, uh, the, the fruit pods I should say, is they have got glow kids, as um, common in the Apuntioid, Apuntia family, they do have the, the little little type of um, glow kids on them. And this is with all type of the Apunchas, with the Brasilio Apuncha, the Apuntioids, which is the miniature Apunchas, and also the other type of um, bigger, larger tree growing um, Apunchas. They do have these annoying little glow kids that sort of get into your fingers and they're sort of hard to take out and make you itch and uh, very annoying, but uh, <laughs> I wouldn't probably recommend pulling this off with your fingers, but I'm going to anyway. I'm used to it. And I find get a bit of piece of sellotape over the skin and lift it off does help to get any of them annoying little glow kids that you get stuck in your, in your skin. Now, you'll know when it's ready to harvest because it will go usually a deep red colour. And this is the same with all Apuncha fruit. This is a Brasilio Apuncha. But with Apuncha fruit, it is usually that it does go a deep red colour. Sometimes they go a deep yellow colour. But you'll know when it's ready to harvest by the softness and its squadginess. All Apuncha, including Brasilio Apuncha fruit, and all cactus fruit is edible, by the way. But I wouldn't recommend eating it if you use um, bug sprays and fungicides and all the usual um, type of chemicals that a lot of the garden nurseries use um, because it wouldn't be healthy to digest but if you are growing without these um, sprays then you can eat the fruit if you wanted to obviously I wouldn't fancy eating that with all the glow kids on it <laughs> but Brasilio pads um, so the, the, the Apuncha pads um, not the Brasilio Apuncha so the Apuncha pads are very common uh, delicacy in some parts of the world as a salad and they're very high in amino acids so as I say Love my waffle. <laughs> Twist the um, seed pod over. Should come away very easy like that. And this pad here started to actually send out new growth. And we have a lot of these that have fell off the, the big mother plant. And uh, we're in the middle of propagating them at the moment. Because this, this particular pad actually kept the seed pod for so long and produced it, I think it's right we keep this. And we're going to get that to um, root, stick in a bit of soil and treat that as a cutting. As you can see, it's starting to send out another shoot already because that's sort of special that it's carried this seed. So I think it deserves to be propagated. And um, now you can either, I've got a little knife here or use your finger to cut in. I'm going to use a little bit of a knife here, sort of a bluntish knife, but sharp enough to cut into this. And what you want to make do it sure is use a clean knife, obviously. Cut into this there just to open it up. And this is one of the very easy ones to, to harvest. I say, look at that lovely juicy fruit there. Look at that. It's almost like a miniature type of dragon fruit. Look at that one big seed inside. Happy days. Look at that, Hansi. 
Isn't that lovely? Yeah. There's the seed. It and there's the me little fruit. Last year. Yeah, because we had this last yeah. year and we lost it, didn't we, when we were the doing color, the house move? And the colour of the fruit, yeah. Yeah, and wow. now the fruit is edible. Love it, yeah. As I say, you can scoop that fruit. Lick it up. <laughs> Tiny little fruit there. I'll show you the, the size of my thumb with that. Mm. Um, you can scoop it up and eat it, but I wouldn't recommend putting that in the mouth like you would a berry with all them glow kids. Mm. That'd be pretty horrible on the tongue, I'd imagine. <laughs> but you can scoop it out. Mm. Sweet. Oh, it's actually it? lovely, like a little, yeah. little berry, yeah. yeah. Wow. So keep that there. And then with this, just going to give it, now this is so easy to, to harvest. Happy us. Happy us is right. <laughs> now with, this is the same, although this is Brazilia Apuncia, it is the same as any other type of Apuncia um, seed in the sense it does have a hard outer coating on it. And um, obviously we're going to be sowing this this time of year. It's the wrong time of year to normally sow cactus seeds because unless you have grow lights and additional heat, I would recommend probably waiting until the springtime when the days are longer and the, the weather is warmer before you sow cactus seeds. But as I say, if you have additional lights, as in this case, me and Hans have got grow lamps and um, we also have the heating on, the heating here. So we're going to propagate this earlier and... Um, I've already made a video on how to grow cactus from seed and links up above to that video if you haven't seen it. Um, there's a bit of a difference between this one little seed and a lot of seed. <laughs> so we're just going to put this into one little pot and um, grow it probably may. We normally put them using the baggy method, but because there's just one seed, we probably won't. We just have this probably under the grow lights and keep it watered every day. And um, what we're going to be doing is obviously soaking the seed probably for 12 hours before we actually sow the seed because this will soften the outer coating. With a bunch of seeds, they have a hard outer coating and it's the same with this seed. Um, you don't necessarily have to soak them, but um, it does help to germinate them a little bit faster by soaking them in, in warm water overnight, which we're going to be doing. And some people even say about scarification, um, which is like rubbing the, the top outer coating of the hard shell also helps to encourage germination. Personally, I've never done this. It looks sounds too fiddly for me to be doing that. I find just soaking it overnight will be enough. And soaking it overnight will also help to um, get rid of any of the, the little bit of the, the flesh on the outside there, the pink flesh, because if I was just to sow this directly in soil, even if I let it dry like this, you probably find that um, the fruit could possibly cause mold and it could, um, when, the, when the seed germinates, it could cause an infection there um, or fungus infection. So in this case, it's good to remove all of that. Now I'm gonna actually let this dry for a few hours and then scrape as much as a kind of this, of the outer coating of, so the fruit part of it. And then um, probably just keeping it in a, in a cl clean sort of cool, dry place. And over the next few days, and then I'm gonna be sowing this seed and I'm gonna be showing you what I do when I sow the seed, because it's gonna be a completely different method to how I normally grow cacti from seed. This is only one big seed. And as I say, it'd be very easy. But I'll, I'll make a video when I do it, so stay tuned for that, guys. But I'm just happy to um, happy to have a nice big seed pod. <laughs> so that's that's pretty much it. Just wanted to share that with you, and you should you know what to do. Should you have a little little seed on your puncher like that? <laughs> so guys, thanks so much for watching, and I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of plant power. As always, from across the Emerald Isle. And until the next video, bye.